Hello, hello, and welcome! If you are not yet a member of the Gaze community, please click that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. Also, if you're in the market for some awesome escapist entertainment uh, without the BS political messaging, check out the uh, Sunsworn. The link is in the description below. It's the future of space fantasy entertainment. Uh, today, we're taking a look at this coming from Bounding Into Comics. Uh, the Hugo Award <laughs> is under fire for awarding H.P. Lovecraft posthumous Hugo Retrospective Award. Hmm. Well, I bet this has something to do with race. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Doesn't everything? H.P. Lovecraft's views on race mm -mm, have sparked yet another controversy as internet activists have taken issue with the late author being awarded the 1945 Retro Hugo Award for Best Series for his work in the Cthulhu Mythos. Now, who doesn't... Come on. Who doesn't like Lovecraftian tales? Who doesn't like Cthulhu? Who doesn't like... Uh, all that... that this... <laughs> who's called us running around doing nefarious things, uh, trying to bring back the old gods. If you're, uh, I don't know, man, if, you, if you're not into Cthulhu, if you're not into Lovecraftian tales, um, you're missing out, in all honesty, because uh, that's some, some creepy, really creepy cool stuff. Uh, but anyway, the Cthulhu Mythos is a collection of stories featuring a shared assortment of elements, characters, and settings based on Lovecraft's fictional worlds. Contributors to the Cthulhu Mythos include uh, Arkham House founder August Derleth and Psycho author Robert Block. Um, so yeah, uh, the Mythos was nominated alongside, um, well, many, many uh, other entries here, as you can see below. Yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, on July 29th, the decision that Lovecraft was officially selected as the recipient of the posthumous award was announced on the Hugo Awards official Twitter account, read here, 1945 Retro Hugo for Best Series, The Cthulhu Mythos, by H.P. Lovecraft, August Derleth, and others. Mm. So, do you think this is just going to slip by <laughs> without being criticized without uh, the Hugo Wars being screamed at and threatened. Of course not. Of course not. This is 2020. I mean, this has been going on for years, but this year of all years, whoo, nonsense. So we got some users uh, replying here. Y'all really decided to do this right now? For real? Yeah, for real. Boo this man. <laughs> One user uh, only blasted the author, but also took a shot at uh, Cosmic Horror itself. Mm. This fella, this fine fella right here, a shameful award. Very badly done indeed, voters. And putting aside the monstrous author, there's still the issue of the florid prose and the sheer narcissism required to find Cosmic Horror horrific. Mm. <laughs> also, non-Euclidean geometry is Boring, not scary. Well, that's an opinion, and uh, I would say kind of a, a lousy opinion. <laughs> but that's, uh, again, that's my opinion. That's my view of things. Uh, you're welcome to yours. Uh, others lamented the fact that Lovecraft's view on race hadn't caught up with the modern sensibilities. Mm, everything has to catch up with modern sensibilities, doesn't it? Every single little thing. Um, you know, you, you can't just say... You know, they were part. They were part of a different time. They were from a different world. Um, that doesn't fly anymore. No, no. Uh, Y'all could just not give awards to racists. The decision to elevate Lovecraft now was grotesquely misguided. And I mean, like, who do these people even think they are? What? <laughs> I like, think, of course, you can comment, but. Um, that's the whole the thing behind this is they these comments aren't meant to simply express how they feel these comments are made to attempt to bully the hugo awards into revoking the award of course and giving it to someone else or not not giving it to anyone you know completely getting rid of the the retro hugo awards which man who knows maybe that would be best at this point the way <laughs> The way society is, uh, you know, every single little thing has got to be a problem. It's got to be racist. It's got to be sexist. It's got to be whatever, whatever ist um, of the day. 
and uh, yeah. So yeah, here's another one. Yikes! Not a good choice. Even his peers of the era were like, "Yo, Howard, that's some racist stuff you've got going on there. You should probably dial that back." Um, well, again, they're from another time. I'm not sure they would have uh, would have used that terminology, but sure. Oh, and then of course, yeah. Any any sentence that starts with "my dudes" uh, is probably best ignored. But uh, we're going to look at it anyway. My dudes. Lovecraft should just have been permanently, retroactively disqualified on the basis of naming his cat and word alone. This is not a good look for the post puppies. You <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry. Oh, these people. What is wrong with these people? Ridiculous. Ah, oh, extreme criticism of Lovecraft's outdated views on race is not a new phenomenon, but a recent trend has seen companies use elements of Lovecraft's mythos in their products while subsequently condemning the author. Well, uh, that just sounds like um, trying to have your cake and eat it too, to me. Um, yeah, the popular MOBA game, Smite, recently introduced Cthulhu as a playable character while sim simultaneously declaring, hmm, we welcome Cthulhu to Smite not Lovecraft. Racism and homophobia have no place in Smite, period. Well, if you don't like the guy's material, maybe don't use it. <laughs> or, I mean, well, let me rephrase that. Obviously, you do like the guy's material. You like his ideas. Uh, you just don't like him. So, again, if that's, if that's where you stand, uh, wouldn't the moral thing be to not use it instead of using this man's material to try to make more money? Hmm. Interesting. The use of the Cthulhu Mythos for tabletop RPG developer Evil Hat Productions kickstarted Fate of Cthulhu did not deter the company from including an entry in their game's rulebook declaring that Lovecraft was an unforgivable, quote, racist and anti-Semite. Hmm. Again, if, you're, if you feel that strongly about it, if you're that passionate about uh, this man's views, why are you using his material? Hmm, maybe to make money? Maybe because a lot of people like that material and you're just a bunch of whores trying to leech off of greater minds? Could that be it? I don't know. <laughs> They're not famous while alive. The father of cosmic horror found new life in the public domain where his works have flourished and gone on to inspire countless writers, artists, and readers. And that Ladies and gentlemen, is the important part of all of this. Yeah, whatever the man believed, whatever he thought, whatever his opinions were, that's up to him. And um, he'll be dealing with that. Yeah, I mean, he's dealing with that right now, I'd imagine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this guy inspired so many, so many, to go on and become great themselves, to do good things, to... Uh, come up with awesome stories that will live forever. So, regardless of the man's flaws, he still did good. He did good work, and he inspired people to be better themselves. To do great things themselves. That's the lesson to take away from this. And um, all this, this cancel culture, this, you know, you can't, <laughs> can't use this or can't use that... Um, don't support this person, don't support that person because of this is how they feel. Well, if it wasn't for social social media, we wouldn't we wouldn't really know how people feel anyway. We wouldn't, wouldn't really know what they believe. We wouldn't know about their politics, their religion, their um, you know, what they had for dinner. And uh, never before did we give a shit bef before social media. Uh, but thanks to social media, everybody's business is out there. Uh, nobody can make one single slip in their speech without being um, lynched for it, practically. And uh, I think that's a sad state of affairs. I would just like to throw one more thing in here. Speaking of inspiring people, uh, Lovecraft seemed to have inspired this new HBO series. Not titled Cthulhu Country, no. It's titled Lovecraft Country. And as you can see, it looks uh, fairly brown to me. So... <laughs> My question is, if this man was such a raging piece of excrement, uh, well then why, why are we taking his name and applying it 
to uh, a Jordan Peele HBO story. Why is that, I wonder? Could it be money? Could it be that Lovecraftian tales bring fat cash? Could that be it? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, Jordan Peele, by the way, the same guy that said, uh, you know, a white person will never be the star of any of his films or television. <laughs> That's not racist. Uh, yeah, we got Lovecraft Country. So thank you, H.P. Lovecraft, for inspiring this. <laughs> thank you for inspiring us all. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. If, uh, God almighty, things have just gotten so ridiculous, haven't they? Haven't they? Everything is, is upside down. It's backwards. Everything is uh, just so ridiculous. Everyone identifies themselves by, some, by a characteristic of themselves that anyone can have rather than identifying themselves as individuals, as unique beings. That's crap to me. I don't like it. And I think it's wrong. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Are you a Lovecraft fan? Do you hate the man? Despise him? Let me know. Sound off in the comments. Uh, as I said before, if you're not yet a member of the Gaze community, please click that subscribe button. Ring that bell for notifications. And thank you all very much for watching. Appreciate you. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.